Hey guys, what's going on? So um, today I'm going to show you how to make this pinwheel container that I um, designed. Okay, and uh, yeah, and this is really cool because it's it's kind of tall right here. It's taller than this pinwheel container right here. Okay, and I put the video for this model in the description below, so click down there. Okay, but in this video I'm going to show you how to fold this one right here. See? Oh I, yeah, what's really cool about it is that it opens up just like this. And then you can put something inside, okay? And then close it back up. And same thing with this model. Okay? Just like that, okay? And what's different about this model is that it's a little bit taller right here than, um, where is it? All right. It's a little bit taller than this model right here, okay? See, this one's shorter and this one's taller, okay? But yeah, they're both pretty cool, okay? And I think this model is a little bit wider than this model too, okay? But yeah, so this, one, this one's cool because it's taller, okay? And yeah, so I'm going to show you how to fold this one, okay? Alright, so here goes. So for this model, I'm going to use, um, get my paper, a 6 inch square of Kami, okay? So um, I'm going to make a purple container with a white pinwheel, okay? So this is the color of the pinwheel, okay? Alright, so um, let's begin with the pinwheel side up and let's fold in half we're going to make a square base. Okay? And unfold and fold in half this way. Okay? And now fold this point up to here. Okay? And turn over right to left and fold this point to here. Okay, and now open and flatten it just like this. Okay, like that. And here we have a square base. Okay, you lower this. Okay, all right. Now to fold this point up to the top, um, and you're just gonna make a pinch mark right here. Okay, just like that. Unfold and rotate and fold this point to the pinch mark, and make another pinch mark. Okay. Like that. Now open and fold this point to the pinch mark. And this time you can fold all the way across. Okay? Alright, now um, we're gonna do we're gonna take this and we're gonna fold this in and you're gonna anchor the fold at that point right here. And you want this point to touch the middle crease. So watch. Okay? So you're just gonna do it just like this. Okay? Like that, so that's what it looks like. Okay? And repeat on this side. Okay? So you're gonna anchor the fold at that point, and you want this point to touch the middle crease. Or you can just fold this point, I think, to that point. Okay? Man, Christmas is coming up, so I'm gonna have to teach you. I need to teach you some Christmas models soon. Maybe I should try to design a Christmas tree. And if I come up with one, I'll teach it. Okay? <laughs> All right, like that, you can unfold that little flap too, okay? Now turn over, and we're gonna do the same thing. And you can just make the fold align with the edge below, okay? And make sure that this point touches the crease. Okay, and fold this point to that point. Okay, all right, like that. Now, we're going to take this and we're going to fold this up in between these two points. And you want this point to align with the middle crease. Okay? And repeat on this side. And fold over. And turn over. And fold over. Okay? And we're going to do the same thing. So fold it up. Make the fold align with the edges below. And make this point touch the crease. <laughs> Just make sure it aligns. Okay, and this side. Okay, all right, now take this point and fold it to that point. And be sure to hold this down so it doesn't slide when you fold it. Okay, just like that. And unfold and fold this over. Make sure you, you're making, make sure you're doing this correctly too, okay? 
So like that. We're gonna make this rotationally symmetric, okay? And this is how we're gonna do it. So make sure you got this folded and unfold. Now fold this over like this. And now take this point and fold it to that point, okay? And hold this down so, the, so it doesn't slide when you fold it up, okay? Okay, unfold and you can fold this back over. Now turn over and fold this point to that point. Okay, remember, make sure you're watching closely at this. Just you're paying attention. Make sure you're paying attention. Okay, unfold and fold this over and fold this point to here. Fold the flap down so it doesn't slide. Okay. Like that, and like that, okay? Now, rotate, and you're gonna fold this up right in between these two points. Okay? Just like this. And you're gonna include this flap too. That little flap <laughs> that was sticking out. Okay? Crease sharply. It's kind of thick, but just crease sharply, okay? Unfold, and just to make it easier, we're just gonna reverse the crease here. Okay, so just like this. Okay. You kind of look from the side here, just make sure it's in between the, the points. See, like, okay. And include this flap, that little flap sticking out. Okay, and unfold, okay. And yeah, that's good. That's actually what you want right there. Make sure that thing is folded, okay. All right, I'm gonna lower it even more because this is small. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take um, this and we're gonna fold this up and this is kind of bright so let me kind of make, make the lights more better here. Make it, uh, give me a second here, kind of make it better. Okay, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna fold this up and you want um, this edge to, do I have a pencil anywhere? All right, let me get a pencil. Just give me a second here, let me get a pencil here so I can show you. All right, this is good. So you're, you're gonna fold this up and you're gonna f take this edge and you're gonna fold it to that crease right there. See that crease? That crease. And you want this edge, I think look, you want this edge to align with that crease. Okay, like this. Okay just like this and open it and tuck it inside just like this okay that's what it looks like okay and turn over and repeat on the side and you can just um, fold this up you can just make it align with the crease below okay doesn't matter though I don't think I don't think just fold it up so that the fold lines with the crease below okay the crease below and fold this up, making this edge align with this crease, and this edge align with this crease. Okay? Okay, and unfold it and tuck it in. Okay? Like that. And you're going to repeat that on the two sides, on the two other sides right here. So uh, fold that down and fold this down, okay? And I'm going to go at my own speed for this, and I'm not going to talk, okay? But hopefully you'll get a sense of how I do it. So when I zoom in too much, it gets blurry, okay? And you're not going to see it. But when I lower it, it's fine, okay? And of course, when I rise it up, too. Okay, like that. All right, now we're just about done. We just need to open it up. So I'm going to open it up here. Let these creases come out here. Like down on the, on the bottom, like that, okay? And you're going to pinch mountains along the creases right here. Like that crease, okay? 
I'm gonna pinch a mountain fold here. Okay, and here. And here. And here. Okay, like that, okay? And now um, we're just gonna close it up. So um, we're just gonna take it and we're gonna bring everything in and you're gonna fold this right on um, this ex this existing crease right here. So like that, and do that all the way around. So like that, right on the existing crease. And just keep doing that all the way around. Okay. Just like this. Okay. And once you did that, here is, I'm gonna fix it up. Here is your pinwheel box, your taller pinwheel box, okay? It's pretty cool because it's taller, okay? But I don't really know if it's the same size or not because this one's shorter, but it's it's a little bit wider on the top, it looks like. Yeah, this one's wider on the top than this one. So I don't know which one's, which one's maybe bigger or tell me in the comments below if they're the same size, okay? This one gets pretty tall when you open it up, see? Just like that, okay? Let's see the difference. I'm gonna have to rise it up more for this. I'm gonna get them both on the video, <laughs> okay? All right, just give me a second here, guys. Okay, all right. So let's look at the difference, see which, which, which one's um, bigger, or if they're the same size. If they're the same size, I, I like them both. All right, so let's see here. They won't stay open though, like all the way, so. Kind of have to hold them. I kind of have to hold them open. So I'm pretty sure. Um, I think this one is wider. Okay. So I don't know. I think I like them both. I think they're both cool. Okay. I like the way this one looks. It looks awesome. Okay. And for this model, click the link in the description. Okay. If you want to learn how to fold this. Okay. So yeah. And this one's cool because it's tall. See, it's a it's a deeper box. Okay, and you can put stuff inside, like maybe things like this. For this um, thing, this is the Twizzler stick. Click here for the, that video. Okay, probably put it in. I might have to bend it over, kind of fit it in there. <laughs> I might ruin it a little bit, but that's okay. I'm just gonna close it up. Okay, eh, best as I can. <laughs> so yeah, there it is. It's closed up. Isn't that cool? fix my stick here, Twizzler stick. Or you can put stuff inside like this. This is the ninja this is that cube dude that Jeremy Schaefer taught. And I have a link to learn to learn how to fold this, I have a link in the description below. So I I'll put his video in the description below, okay? For this model. Okay? He taught this on YouTube already. Okay. Man, can this, can this fit? Uh, this one's a little bit too big, okay? Let me just show you how this thing works. Oh yeah, pretty cool, right? All right, I'm not gonna show you how to make this on YouTube because this is Jeremy Schaefer's model, so yeah. Don't ask that I teach you this, okay? Jeremy Schaefer taught it on YouTube, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> All right. All right, well, hope you guys were able to fold this box and comment, great and subscribe, and just to tell you, on my Friday's video, I'm going to show you how to fold something really cool. This is called the flower um, squishy blob here. You just, like that. You just place it on the table and go like that. Okay? And here is the video when it's available. Okay? Alright. See you guys later.